everybody, and welcome back to another CAFCast. This is part six of our Silent Hill for The Room Let's Play. Hope you guys are all doing really well. I'm doing well as well, thank you. Um, we're now going to finish off, if we can, the apartment world section, because um, we managed to get a reasonable uh, distance in here last time, didn't we? Um, we need to put these two bits under the door, don't we? And hang on to all those things. So, I mean, everything here we currently need, unfortunately. Um, so we'll just have to hang on to it all. But I do need some health, so it's a good thing we've come back here anyway. Um, I know that Eileen's not there because she's in with me in the other world. So, we're going to carry on, I think, and end up going through. Back into here. Now... Oh, the sound effect's not playing. That's weird. Hmm, okay. There are sound effects. It's just not playing it for some reason. Not sure why. Oh, did we go in... Did we get full health? Or did we go in preemptively? Nah, I think we went in a bit preemptively. Yeah, oh well. We've got a reasonable amount of health. Um, enough, hopefully, to get past all these goddamn critters. Right, it sounds like it's coming from... This way, maybe then? It's really hard to tell, isn't it? Let's try and find this phone phone call. Oh, there is it. There is a doggy. So, if you are, if you guys are enjoying the, uh, the series below, please do get in touch and uh, let me know. Um, and also, share. Share with everybody. Let everybody know that you're, uh, you're really enjoying it because. Uh, the word needs to get round about these uh, these wonderful videos. <laughs> um, hmm. Could be here. Could be in this room. Does not like it there. It's the weirdest, and that's really weird as well. It's like bit missing, wall missing. Not strange at all. Oh, it's not in this room. <laughs> I really can't work out where it's come, where it is, where it's from. But if a uh, coldest fluorescent is giving off an eerie glow, eerie. Yeah, the other thing I've noticed is that um, last time I played this game, there were like ghosts that ended up seeping out into the real world, and I had to get like candles to stop them from killing me, or something. Um, and that doesn't seem to be happening on this one, not yet anyway. So I want to keep my eye on that just in case something does happen. Because it's definitely not happening. Definitely not finding any uh, any bits and pieces like candles and stuff. So I don't know what that's about. Uh, squish, squish, squish. Satisfying squish, squishy squish, squish, and squoosh, squoosh. Oh crap! That one squished me. God, I'm disgusting or anything, are they? No, not at all. Right, this place is again very nicely decorated. It's always good to see. Like a good bit of high quality uh, decoration, don't we? <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? I understand. Um, this apartment does seem to be in the similar state as the rest of them. AKA boogered. But no phone. So we'll carry on going. That dog is a bit confused, so we're gonna kill him. Take it! Take it like a man! Oh no. Oh, that was good. Perfect. Oh, okay. Put him out of his misery. Could be in this one. Could very much be in this one. It's coming out of my left earphone right now. If you guys are listening to this game in headphones, then you will be experiencing what I'm experiencing. Oh yeah, that's. Oh. <laughs> God damn this bloody game. I can't even hold anymore, so there's no point in me really doing much exploring. All the guns here are just models. How does he know that? I suppose it must be obvious. It's him anyway. Yes, damn. Guns everywhere. What a weird place. Um, I feel like I've been here before. Where is this phone call coming from? God damn it. It's definitely not in here. That guy's a bit ominous. Fluting around like that. I'll leave him be. 
Leave him be. Right, so there's nothing in this section, which is the... That section there. We've actually explored the entirety of the ground floor now. Hooray! So we're going we're gonna to go up to the next floor, the second floor. Um, actually, I might go up to the third floor and just put these notes under my door, just so it's done, because I currently I can't take anything. We've had to leave some bullets behind because of that. So I'm going to do that. We'll go up to the top. Running, running, running. La 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 la. Uh, this is the third floor? Yes. Good stuff. And I live in. Ah, oh, see, now I can knock all this shit. Uh, Alright, well, we'll explore there in a sec. We just want to go to 302. That's where we are. The only one that has, like, normal stuff. Um, I'm gonna just put this down. Oh, is that wrong? Oh, it's 301. No, it's not 301. It's 301. I don't know, I'm so confused. Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? Oh my god, that's horrible. What's going on? They're actually coming through that wall there. Well then, let's leave. I'm so confused. So this this should be where I can put my um, notes. Well, I don't know why that didn't go through. Oh, I did this time. Just because it was lame. Unless the phone call is coming through here. I don't know. Anyway, well, I'm not sure. Let's just go back. There's definitely... It's definitely not in the real world, was it? It wasn't ringing in the real world, so it's definitely not. What was that guy doing here? Or it could be. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, we were doing that. So we're going to three or four, which we just unlocked. Mm, that sounds a bit more ominously loud. Could be here. Bullets! Yay! No, I've got, yes, take the pistol bullets. Why doesn't it just default on the yes? Why Why have to press no? It's like, I don't want that thing, goddammit. No way. No way, no how. That's a TV. A fantastic TV as well. Oh my god, Dalmatians. <laughs> Well, that's a weird apartment with nothing in it. Three or four, ladies and gentlemen, three or four. The weird person at three or four. Um, okay, so it looks like, th and I think that's the entirety of the third floor because you can't get, there's nothing there. And we did also notice that Walter has left the building as well. Well, left his, but he wasn't, he's not there anymore. So he's gone somewhere. Let's just keep on looking. Um, okay, so these, all these, the floors on this one were locked. But now I have the keys! Whoa. Scratchy, scratchy. Oh, I've got brain ache again. One of these days, we're gonna go into the right room and we're gonna find this goddamn phone. <laughs> Oh, there's a donut, there's a ghosty, there's a ghosty. Oh, let's just check out this stuff quickly. Oh my god. Um, radio and video game stuff. A bit strange. Sorry. Yeah, vintage video games. Machines. Okay. Well, that's fine, there's nothing here for me. So I'm just gonna leave. Oh, that was skill right there. True professional. <laughs> I'm really not. In any fashion. Professional of anything. <coughs> Boom! Dead. Knock you out. One, two, three. Oh shit. Oh, good shot. Looks like my gun. Oh, it's, it's a chunk. Guys, run Mars. Ah! Come on! Seriously? <clears throat> this is really difficult. 
Oh, oh, no. Ah, oh god, come on. I need to get good at this game. How are you not falling over? Fall over. Thank you. And you, fall over. I said fall over. I said fall over. Thank you. <laughs> right, okay. We're gonna have to go and uh, get some more health if we're not careful. I'm gonna check this room though, because it's uh, kind of in a phony position. Nope. Looks like some dogs in here though. See a little foot. Oh, that's not creepy. Oh my god, I'm so good job. So we'll just have a look. Oh, there's loads of writing on the walls. Oh. You're not supposed to just go for me. That's not how this works. You're supposed to wait. So I do like some sort of running. And then you come and attack me. Naughty guy, don't you understand the physics of this game? And this one. Sit down, you naughty dog. <laughs> That's working surprisingly well. Um, well, there's definitely no... Nothing... Oh, oh God. Black lights. Why are there black lights? No, this is a... These people have seriously been pumping out some kids. Six beds. And a baby cot. Bloody hell. Okay, we're going to carry on going this way. Uh, check this last room. Yeah, it is the last room. Okay, I'll just check this quickly. Whilst we're here. Hmm, blood. Ominous. Ominous, ominous. Still no phone. There's a golf club. Putter. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> we now have the putter. Is there any sort of uh, reading materials? Nope. Nope.jpg. Okay. Oh! Jesus, that was quite scary. There's a gun there. Oh, can't hold anymore. Oh, he's gone! Shit, that scared me. I can see Eileen Galvin from here. I'm pretty sure that's room 303. What's she doing in this world? Oh, man, that was scary. Okay. Well, <clears throat> if Eileen Galvin's over there, then we need to go together. And um, sort her out. That's like that is like a awesome magnum type gun. So we're gonna have to come back to this room. Um, what the camera angle was just having a bit of a spaz. It's a bucket of water blood. A uh, bucket of water blood. Okay, so tell you what we'll do. We're just gonna run out upstairs and then come back to two oh seven. That's probably the most sensible thing to do. Um, we'll go downstairs because there's a, a thing just like right there. And then we might need to go back upstairs to check on Eileen's room because that might have triggered something. <clears throat> I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, so, we'll just wait for our health to sort itself out, put away a couple of things in the box, whilst we are here. Okay, we'll put that away, I'll we'll put away another one of the bullets, we've got 40 bullets on us, so we now have two more spaces, three more spaces, one, two, one, two. I think it might be two spaces. Yeah, I think it's two spaces. We only put, put away two things, didn't we? Um, I want to keep 40 bullets on me, though, because I think that's a good number. That's fine. Because we only want to pick up the gun and maybe another set of bullets. And I'm sure before we know it, we'll be coming back here anyway. So that's fine, eh? Okay. Okay, that's fine. They always are doing really strange things. <laughs> it's just so confusing. Um, people are confusing. But very strange. Very, very strange. Let's just check and make sure Eileen's not in here. Because if she's, if she's like... Oh. Looks like Eileen's okay. 
bum. <laughs> so, wait, so she's not in the... I can't see her face. All I can see is just some dressness. Um, okay, so she's not in the thingy. Well, that's interesting. We'll have to find out about that. And what, what was that? These shoes. I'm pretty sure I bought them in Silent Hill. <laughs> That's why he's uh, being trapped. So let's just check this out. See if there's any information. Um, I picked up the key that I lean. That I lean. What? I picked up the key that I lean from room 303 must have dropped. I thought I'd return it, but she wasn't home. I guess I'll give it to the super. May 20th. Um, and I assume that's the locker key that I've now got on me. And this is the torn piece of paper. I lost the key to Eileen Galvin's room. I've got to find it and bring it back. Let me think. The last place I saw it was... Ha! It's ripped here and I conveniently can't read the rest. Annoying. Um, okay. Let us carry on. We've got full health now. I'll go back to 207. Get that revolver. Big, scary, powerful gun. Might be good, might be not. I don't know. I don't think I used guns in this game. I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, okay. So. Yeah, we're going to 207 first. I think we're going to find that the uh, the phone's actually on the other side of the uh, apartment complex on this floor, I think. Because it's the only other place they haven't checked. Oh, too far. My fault is still in here. Being all like ominous and weird. No, the camera angle is now completely different. This is the gun that Richard's using. Take Richard's revolver. Richard's revolver. Moderate stopping power. And oh, it comes with six bullets as well. Useful. Is Arlene, Arlene still here? Yeah, she's still here. So, that's confusing. She's in both worlds at the same time. Okay, well, let's not worry about that for now. Let's go and worry about the other room. Oh, I did get a comment on uh, the one of the uh, parts of the Sun Hill series about the cutscenes um, and the fact that they would like to see them. I'll do my best to play um, kind of as, as much of them as I can, but they are a bit bugged out. Um, so I'll have to kind of just like skip them if I if I need to. Um, and I'll just do my best to try to explain the sort of the gist of what exactly is going on. Um, but in sort of uh, subsequent Sonic Hills, if I can get them working to a to a better standard, then yeah, absolutely, I'll play them for you guys. You can uh, you can watch the whole thing. Um, it's no skin off my nose. It just makes the videos a bit longer, um, so it takes a bit longer to upload. But you know, it's uh, it's fine if you guys are happy with that, happy with watching a slightly longer video as well, I guess. Um, right, well, this room is completely in. Accessible. There's some baguette on the little thing there. That's it. Nothing. Lovely. Nothing room. Oh, it's getting louder. Oh, Jesus ghost. I hate you, ghosts. I hate you. I hate you. Go away. There's like an ominous shadow in the distance up there. I think that's another ghost. Yeah, I think the phone call's coming from like in here, maybe. Or like a place near here, because it's really loud now. Well, you son of a bitch. Maybe not in this one. Oh! Bloodstained shirt. Torn red paper in the pocket. Can we take it then? Thank you. Let's put that back upstairs as well. Well, that's getting really loud. That phone. Run! Um, sit the hell down. Leave me alone. Bloody creature. Yeah, that's it. Sit down. Phone's definitely not in here. Whoa, that's close. So it must be in the next one. Yeah, it's definitely as a ghost lady. That's a ghost lady. Go away, ghost lady. Yep, there it is. Jesus. Well, there you go. We found the phone. Oh, pick it up. Nope. There's no one there. Well, isn't that the definition of irony? Oh, it's a painting. Ah, oh, many paintings. Ooh, how interesting. He listens to great music, 107. But I feel sorry for him having to live under Braintree. So he's the guy who lives in 107. 
to adults and a lot of children. 206, how can they even sleep with so many noisy kids? Besides that, they have to live next to Braintree. Right, so this is obviously some sort of clue. Uh, living under Braintree. Uh, 107. So it's 207 is Braintree. Next to Braintree. But we've been in... Oh, there's a, there is a blocked off bit. Hmm. I wonder if that is convenient. Uh, convenient? Uh, relevant. Uh, 202, self-portrait. Hmm. That's good. Good patron. 106, my beautiful darling. Lately she's both bothered by a stalker. These are very good paintings. Plump woman, 204. She's always eating something, but I wish my girlfriend liked to cook like her. Old couple. 304, a nice, sweet old couple. 102. She loves cats too much and missed her chance to get married. I kind of felt sorry for her while she was mourning for one of her dead cats. Aw. That's not good. Well, it's an interesting place. There's some more. 203. He's so noisy. I wish he would stop all that drinking and fighting. Whoa. This must be Richard Braintree. Braintree, that prick. He's always yelling at kids, especially that weird one that hangs around. But he took Mike into his apartment and peeled his skin off. So he's my hero. What? 101. A gun maniac. He's always coughing. From his cat allergy. And they were actually model guns, weren't they? Painting a man holding a porno magazine. 301, the preferred stalker. He got what he deserved. That must be Mike, perhaps. I don't know. The Super, 105. Sunderland, the Super didn't. The Super mistakenly thought that Mike was Rachel's lover. This must be the guy who plays video games. 205. He's always shut in his room. He likes... It looks like he has a lot of weird interests. I heard he tape recorded Mike getting beaten up by Richard. Well, if you've got to tape something. Um, there doesn't look like there's anything else here, apart from just like loads of art supplies. So what was the relevance of having... I didn't get it. Why, why, why have the phone call thing between the two rooms? That was really confusing. a really ominous ghost, that one. He's a bit weird. He's an old lady ghost. Old lady ghost. Oh, wow. Okay. This is a bus of bugaloos. Get off. Go away. I don't like you. Old lady woman. Yeah, let's sit on the floor. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm keeping her down. Is that because I'm standing on her? No, she's just down. That's weird. Oh, this one's got like holes and stuff in it. Why is she down? Hmm. I'm not going to complain. Maybe this room has some sort of properties that make her want to be downed. It says the writing's blurry and he can't read it, but that clearly says caution. Caution. Oh, she's back up again. Right. So you just were down for ages, were you, lady? Is that what, what's going on? You just like being down for a bit? I'll put you down again. <laughs> Can you actually kill a ghost? Is that possible? Doesn't look like it. But they do, they do stay down for a bit if you really punch them on, apparently. So that's pretty good to know. Right, well, I guess the only other thing that we could do right now is go to um, Braintree's room. Now that we know more about it, and also to Eileen's room. Because Eileen is, is uh, reasonably significant at the moment, I think. Especially now that we know that she's okay. Quote, unquote. I think that's the only room that we didn't try to get into. So let's do that.
Oh, was that a... Like a... Something on the floor? No. Nothing. Okay. Um, Alright, so we're going upstairs. And we're going to try and get into Eileen's room. See if she'll let us in. I think Eileen Gavin's on the side of this door. Oh, well, I can't get in, so how... Oh, man. I'll put this note down. Seeing as I've got it. Yeah, you can. Thank you. There we go. That could be the other piece to the... Um, where thingy is one. So let's find out. I'll go away. Stupid goddamn thing. Could be, could be uh, significant. Perhaps. I don't know. But we're going to find out. Here we go. Hello, piece of paper. What do you say? It's so bloody it's hard to read. Rachel, love you always watching. Widow, protect you. If love. Mike. Mike's love letter. Hmm. Okay. Well, that wasn't useful in any way, shape, or form. So, I guess we'll just go through the rooms again. I don't really know what else to do. Um, the holes, like, become deadly silent, which is a bit weird. Bit ominous, you know. Gotta be said. Oh, yeah, that's all right. Boom, boom, boom. Stay down. You all get back up, you know, whatever. Is this Mike's room or something? Hello. Hey, lady. You're so fun, you're so fun, you blow my mind. Hey, lady. Hey, lady. Hey, lady, you're so fun, you're so fun, you blow my mind. Hey, lady. Hey, lady. Squish, squish, squish. Squish, squish, squish. Why don't you just, like, knock? Ugh, weirdo. Um, right. So that we've we've checked all of that. There's nothing of interest there. So let's go down a floor and just check the, the this brain tree guy's room and find out if there's anything because I can't quite remember what exactly was in there. So it's worth having a little look. This one. Oh, is it just this with the blood and the and the? Okay, the one where we can see Eileen's room. Okay. Well, there's nothing in this one, I don't think. Because I'm pretty sure we covered the whole place, didn't we? Yeah. Now there's there's a significance to each person, and th to the kind of their what they do, who they are. But beyond that, there's not really much information I have here. I've got, I've got 206, oh man, I don't know, 206, we can check 206 again. That was the children's room, wasn't it? Where the old people were. Kid lose and everything, babies, stuff, yeah. Um, as a plane, kids graffiti, writing is so jammed together, it makes me feel sick. Blah, blah. Lots of kids' toys lying around. But there definitely wasn't anything of, of relevance in here. Because I checked, it was just beds, wasn't it? So that's, yeah, so I don't know. This is too right, so we've gone the wrong way. 207. Oh, that's 
confusing. Right, so that's the end. Okay, so that's fine. 207, 206, 205. 205 was video game guy's room. Definitely nothing in his room that we can mess with. So it's not really worth worrying about. There's nothing in there, it's just a little room. Yes, yeah, so that room's definitely a bust. Oh man, right, okay. We need to apply some logical thinking here. Okay, um, that's all been taken care of. That's all, so it's definitely, definitely been everywhere. Because you can't go in there, you can't go in there. Can't go in there, can't go in there. Now, it did say locker, locker room 106, didn't it? On that key. It said locker 106. Oh, broken it. There we go. Locker key 106 is written on it. So let's go check out room 106 and see whether or not that is somewhere we can shove that key. That's some weird sounds when we come down here. Clonk, clonk, clonk. Uh, 106 was on this side, yeah. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. 106 is here! Right, we have to knock out that, that goddamn ghost. Oh yeah, you get out of it. Get out of it, you son of a bitch. Yeah, back off. You've got a thing on your on your chest. You've got a bit of writing on you. Yeah, I'm not sure. 64, it looks like. God, I mean, this guy had an absolute battle of wits here. Look at this. Pick him off. That sorted him out. <laughs> Biggest trip I have again. There's a phone, first aid kit, useful. Missed that last time. Rachel, this is Rachel's room. He absolutely is not. It's not a quitter, is he? <laughs> Definitely not a quitter. Um, well, there's definitely not anything in this room that we're able to do. Where's he going? He's off. Again. What the hell is that? He's doing like a weird thing. He's off again. Isn't that weird? Isn't that really weird? There's definitely nothing in the kitchen. Mm. Well, that's it. That's 106. There's nothing there. Okay. It looks like I may have to do some research. To see if we can find out exactly what's going on. Looks like it. <laughs> uh, unless there is a locker in the ground area, like there should be bins. Uh, 
Aha, uh -huh, there are some, some things here. Ah, well there you go then. I'm a first class idiot, is what I am. I love you, Rachel Mike. It's filled with love letters from Mike to Rachel. Oh, is that it? Well, we've been in Mike's room, haven't we? Well, we've been in all the rooms, so we have to have been in Mike's room. Yeah, because when we answered the phone, it rang and it, and it took us to um, second floor place, didn't it? Right, okay. That's fine. I'm going to do some research, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Except if you're a child, you really shouldn't be watching this. Um, we're going to break the video there today. I'm sorry that it was a bit unproductive. But these videos do sometimes have to uh, have an unproductive, um, unproductive uh, one. And then uh, hopefully the next one will be uh, much more interesting. But we have explored everything, so I'm bloody confused. Okay. We're going to work it out, guys. I'm going to work it out, and then I will get back to you tomorrow for uh, another video. Um, but for now, we'll just do another save there, because uh, we're just going to save each time, I think. Perfect. Um, yeah, we've been going for a little while as well, so it's obviously makes sense to, to save at this point. So thanks very much for watching, guys. You've been watching another Kafcast video with myself, Kafcast. Um, have a good evening, whatever you're doing, and I will see you all next time. Take it easy. You've been watching the Kafcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Kefcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget get to check out all of our other videos.